Hey everyone, welcome back to another video and this video I'm gonna talk about how to fix. If you're having a trouble with EA Sports FC 26, controller or gamepad is not working on your PC, fix controller issue with EA Sports FC 26. And if you're having the trouble with this, how we can fix this. So let me check it. Let's try one by one. First one for the Steam users, we can disable or enable the Steam input. So this is for the Steam users. For me, I'm having the game on the Steam. I pre-purchased it. So what I need to do is just go over here, right click and go to the properties. Go to installed file. Sorry, not go to general. Sorry, not general. Go to controller. Now go over here. Then I have to first set into enable the Steam input. Then I need to launch the game and I have to check or I have to disable the Steam input. Then I have to launch the game and I have to check. Both can be done, vice versa. And you have to check. Next step is all about make sure to disconnect peripherals such as wired keyboard. If you're using the wired keyboard, you have to disconnect it. Any other joystick, you have to disconnect it. Controllers, you have to disconnect. Unplug all the hotas, wheels, sim wheels, pedals, mouse, eraser, tractor. Disconnect all the additional USB adapter connected to the PC. If you have any virtual controller, you have to disable and uninstall them. Just you need to disconnect arcade stick, disconnect anything that acts as a controller to the PC. After everything is disconnected, we can just launch the game. If you're on the Steam, launch the game from here. And if you're on this EA app, you can go over here, then you can launch the game from here. Now, after the game is successfully launched, you can just go back, then you can check that might work. Next one, we need to disconnect and reconnect the controller. This is very important. So if you're having any additional control in the sense, if it is wired or whatever it is, just disconnect it. Then you have to reconnect the control, controller back. And afterwards, if you're already in the game and if you're having the trouble, just close the game first. Then disconnect and reconnect the controller. Afterwards, you need to restart. For example, if you're on the EA app, you have to restart it from here. It means you have to launch it from here. And if you're on the Steam, you can launch the game once again and you can check. That might work because I, I have seen few comments in the forums where this particular step did work for many users. You can try this out as well. Next one is all about we need to go for non Steam users. That is, add FC26 to the C, Steam. So, uh, if you don't have it, uh, this is for the non Steam users. What you need to do is just go to this particular link. You have to download the Steam. Then make sure that you create an account or you signed into the Steam. Then, once you get into the Steam, you can get the game from the Steam itself. If you go over here, search at the top. Here's Sports FC 26. If you click over here at the top and click on this one. Now you can see we have this game. This is actually uh, not released, but uh, I did purchase it for this particular amount. That is around, uh, uh, you know, uh, $90 where I purchased this ahead where I can play the game with access before it's released. You have to download it from here. After downloading the game from the Steam, then make sure FC26 EA app is closed. For the non-Steam users, after creating an account and purchasing the game, we can just go back. While before launching the game, make sure that you close the EA app. If the EA app is in the background, you have to close it. Then you have to check. Next up is all about, for the non-Steam users, add EA desktop app to the Steam. Then launch EA app from the Steam, then launch the FC26. So this is for the Steam users. You can just go over here, click on add EA app. I think I have already added the EA app uh, somewhere else. If, uh, okay, let's add it. So just click up. Once you launch the Steam, click on add a game. Click on add a non-Steam game or add activate. Uh, okay, just click on add a non-Steam game. Now from here, you can see you'll be having the available programs that available here. So if you scroll down, you can see we have various options over here. For me, I have to get into EA app. So as you can see, this is EA app. So I have to click on, I have already added. So if you don't find it, you can just click on the browse. Navigate to the installation directory. And for me, I have already added. Now, now I need to click on add a selected programs. And now if I check, you'll be able to find the EA app. If I search here, it's okay. You can do one thing. First, I need to know where the game is. I mean, this app is installed. So, open file location. So, this is installed this PC, local disk C, program file, electronics, EA app, desktop, right? So, what I need to do is let me go over here, click on add, 
and on Steam game, you may click on the browse this PC, local disk C, uh, local disk C program files, electronics arts, here to stop, here to stop. Now I need to scroll down. This is the launcher, so let me select this one. Click on open, and I have to click on add a selected program. Now you can see I'm having EA launcher here. Now I need to first launch it, then within the EA app, I'll be having the game Steam within the EA app, which I need to launch. Then I have to check that it worked for many users. We can try this out. Next one EA app users go in task manager and close the Steam. So this is for if you're, this is for the EA app users. If you're using the game, I mean, if you're trying to play the game on EA app, first of all, you have to go over here, close the Steam. Now go over here, search for task manager and you have to click on the task manager. Now from here, you have to expand this. And if you find the Steam, somewhere else it will be running, or if you scroll down somewhere else, you'll be able to find it. You have to select the Steam, right click and go for end the task. Remove it, then you have to close it and you have to check. That is what you have to do. Next one is all about launch Steam as an administrator and then launch the game. So what you need to do is you have to launch the Steam as an admin. So let me go over here, search for the Steam. Now I need to click on run as administrator and go for yes. Then I have to launch the game and I have to check. Next step is all about, we need to launch Steam in big picture mode. Then we need to launch the game. So what I need to do is just go over here. You can see there is an option at the top that is enter big picture mode. Click on this one. So it will be entered into this. Now from here you can select the game, now from here you can launch it and you can check and that might work as well. That is also very important so you can do in this way. So once you launch the game, after after once you exit the big picture mode, like you are playing the game in the big picture mode and if you wanted to exit, this is what you have to do, just click on the Steam, click on power. There is an option called exit big picture mode, click on this one and it will be exit. Now once you exit, you can just go back to the library, then you can go to over here, if you scroll down, you'll be able to find AFC26, you can check with it. And next one, the PlayStation controller, enable it in the sound control panel. This is this is for the use wired connection. So uh, if you're trying to play the game with the controller, try using the wired connection. Then what you need to do is follow these instructions. Go over here, search for the control panel, click on the control panel. Now from here, click on hardware and sound, click on the sound. Now what happens is you have to connect your controller. So the controller will be available here. So once the controller is detected here, right click and go for enable. Right now, uh, this is already enabled. So just click on right click and you have to go to uh, configure speaker. Now you have to select, if it is quadrophobic, you have to select quadrophobic. If it is stereo, you have to select stereo and go for done. Then you have to close this and you have to close this and you have to check. Next one, we need to update controller using PlayStation Accessories app and Xbox Accessories app. So we need to use both. This is for both the controllers for the PlayStation Accessories app and Xbox Accessories app. So what you need to do is you can just go over here. For me, I don't have both. So even though I'll show you how to do this, so just go over here, search for the Microsoft Store. Now from here in the Microsoft Store, what you need to do is just go over here, search for Xbox Accessories. Uh, you can click on Xbox Accessories app. Now what you need to do is you just need to click on get. So you have to download it. After successfully downloading, once you get into the game, you can just go over. This is how it looks like. Now from here, you will be having an option to update the app. You have to update it. Then you can check that might work as well. You have to update it and you have to check. Next one is all about uh, if you are using, always try using the wired controller. That is very important. For, uh, that is very important. You should be always using the wired controller. Never depends on uh, anything called. If I try to open, it says, this is for the Xbox. I have to connect the controller. I don't have the controller. So make sure if you're having the controller, you can update from here. After updating the controller, you can check it back. So always try using the uh, wired controller whenever you are trying to play the game like eSports FC 26 or 25. You have to use the wired controller, not wireless. And these are the steps and I hope this quick video is helpful. That's it. Bye-bye.